Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Radiant Central and I'm your host Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So someone made a request for me to do a video about how to have energy in the morning without coffee. How to get up first thing in the morning and feel good <laughs> and skip the coffee. Great question. So I know a lot of people rely on having coffee first thing in the morning to kind of get them going and get the energy flowing. So. The first thing to do is the most obvious, and that is make sure you're getting enough sleep and making sure that you're sleeping, you're getting a good quality sleep and consistent good sleep, you know, so that every night you're getting seven to 10 hours of sleep, give or take an hour or two, and that you are sleeping somewhere that's comfortable, you know, that, that is supporting a good night's sleep. So it should be quiet, it should be comfortable, it should be well ventilated, there shouldn't be drafts over you should be a comfortable bed, things like that. And you wanna make sure too that you're not eating a heavy meal right before you go to sleep. Last thing you wanna do is eat a heavy meal and then go straight to sleep because then you're spending all your energy that you normally be using for rest and rejuvenation. You'd be using that energy to digest that food. So it's important that the last meal you have is, I would say at least two to three hours before you go to sleep. And try and eat lighter dinners. You know, that if you do have a heavy dinner, maybe go for a walk or, or stay up a little bit later just just to let that your stomach process the food and empty it you know that you're not going to sleep with a full stomach that that the digestion has started because that will make a difference with the quality of sleep you're having another thing too is alcohol if you can avoid alcohol because that does also affect the quality of your sleep and it dehydrates you and a big thing with people that reach for coffee first thing in the morning, they think they're reaching for it for energy, but a lot of times it's because they're waking up and they're dehydrated and their brain is kind of associating the coffee, the beverage, as, something, as liquid to rehydrate your body. And so whether it's coffee or juice or something else you're drinking, it really doesn't make a difference. It's gonna make your body feel better and that's what your body needs first thing in the morning. So what I suggest is before you even think of reaching for that coffee, go and drink some water, get some fluids into your body, and then see how you feel. You might not actually need the coffee after you've had a few glasses of water, you know, and all this time you thought you were addicted to coffee or caffeine, but really what your body was telling you it really needed was just some fluids. And that's another thing, before you go to sleep, try and get hydrated. And that doesn't mean drinking water right before you go to sleep because then it'll keep you up all night going to the washroom. But instead, try and drink water throughout the evening and stop drinking water or liquids at least an hour before you go to sleep or half an hour so that you don't have to wake up in the middle of the night. But that too, it will affect the quality of your sleep and you'll wake up with much more energy first thing in the morning. Um, one thing with the mornings is how to start the day without having coffee. Well, the main thing is, is that when you start the day, you wanna start the day well. And one thing that I suggest is, you know, look at your environment that you're waking up in. Are you waking up in a clean room or is your room like dirty and cluttered and needs to be cleaned and cleared out? When you wake up first thing in the morning, what you see is going to affect your day. That's the first thing, you know, so you want to wake up to a clean, orderly room, an orderly environment if possible. So first start with working on cleaning out your room and making your bed area like you know, something that you want to wake up to first thing in the morning. Also too, you wanna do you wanna do things in the morning. You don't wanna roll out of bed and then go and sit down at the kitchen table and, and just sit there. You wanna get up and you wanna get your body moving, getting your lymphatic system moving, getting your blood circulating. So my suggestion is is do some sort of morning activity, whether it's morning exercise or if you have a garden, go and work in your garden first thing in the morning, or if you have a dog, go and walk the dog or if you want, go and do housework first thing in the morning, or go for a walk, or just something, something to get you moving, something, you know, stretching, anything, just to connect with your body. Because the more connected you are with your body, then the more you're more likely to actually make better choices with your food, with your lifestyle, with being more healthy and taking care of yourself. So you kind of just don't want to roll out of bed and then sit in front of a computer screen or sit in front of the newspaper and zone out. You, you instead want to wake up and kind of check in with yourself and, and get things going, <laughs> get excited. And that's another thing. It's like, what are you waking up to first thing in the morning? Are you, what are you thinking about first thing in the morning? A lot of times most people wake up and they have their to-do list going through their head and, and everything on that to-do list is not, not, not so exciting or stuff could be like super stressful or 
things that, that kind of remind them of gloom and doom, of all the things that they're responsible for, or things they need to get done, or things that haven't been done. You know, so the last thing you want to do is wake up first thing in the morning and start thinking of like everything you need to do and everything that you haven't done and, and your daily stresses. Really, you want to wake up in the morning and the first thing you want to think about is what are you excited for? I know for myself, one thing I do before I go to sleep is I think about one thing throughout the day that I enjoyed. So I go to sleep thinking of something good. <laughs> and then when I wake up in the morning, I, first thing I try and think about is what am I excited for today? huge difference than thinking of my to-do list and everything I need to do and get done and haven't done. So it's, it's all about how you're starting the day and what you're doing first thing in the day. That, that, that's what's going to give you energy. You know, coffee, yeah, it's a stimulant, but there's other things that can stimulate you as well and stimulate you more to give you even more energy and make you feel more vibrant and more alive and more happy and more enthusiastic about life. So coffee's not everything. It's just it's just a drink, right? So try these things out and, and think about it. Think about what are the things that you can get excited for first thing in the morning? What makes you feel good? You know, some people love to listen to music and if they wake up first thing in the morning and they've got like a playlist of, of music that gets their energy going and their blood moving, then that makes a huge difference for them throughout the day. Other people, they love to prepare like a healthy breakfast and they like to sit somewhere in their home that's beautiful and, and and has light, sunlight in it, and, and makes them feel good. You know, and they have a nice breakfast. Others, they'd like to sit down with their family and, and have breakfast with them and talk to them and get things going with that. You know, there's different things that stimulate us, you know, but if we wake up and we kind of go from being zoned out in, from our dreams into zoned out routine and, and not interacting and not doing anything, then, then of course we're going to reach for things to give us energy but it's about reaching into your own creativity, reaching into your own mind, reaching into your own energy and into your own body to get things moving and going. And the last suggestion I have too is, of course, taking a shower first thing in the morning. But if you can, <laughs> take a cold shower. And I know, I know for those that are like living in North America or Europe and in the cold winter months, the last thing you wanna do is take a cold shower. So one thing I suggest is taking a shower where you alternate between hot and cold. So you get in the shower and it's hot or it's warm and then take the hot off and just leave it cold for just a few seconds and then go back to hot and you alternate between hot and cold hot and cold and that too will get your circulation going it'll get your lymphatic system moving everything and it also stimulates some endorphins as well and just wake you up all right so have a fabulous day everyone and i'll see you again soon bye